Hey Liam, uh, okay, so here's the tutorial about um, GarageBand, all right? So when you open up GarageBand, you're going to see something that looks like this. What you want to do is you want to just double-click on Podcast here, or just select it and then uh, click Choose. It'll ask you to save uh, a song, okay? The name of the song, whatever it is. You don't have to worry about this stuff down here, just save this here. So as the example today, I'll just uh, throw it onto my desktop here. I'll just leave that as my song. So now it's going to create it right there. You can see it says my song. So just open up. Okay, so here it is. Now usually the interface will look something like this. On the right hand side here it'll say this media browser. So what you want to do actually is you want to go to down here and click this little I. And right now it's selected the podcast track which is this here. This is for the images. So what you want to do is you want to just select the first one, the male voice and right away it changes uh, to this uh, sort of window here. Now what I usually do is I change this podcasting one, the vocal, this is sort of the, the mixing for the vocals, okay? So you can make yourself sound like a helium breath guy here if you want. Uh, anyway, so you go to podcasting and I usually I select male narrator, okay? Then this is what I was talking about for the stereo or mono. So for the input source here, uh, if you plug in your microphone before you turn on GarageBand, GarageBand should automatically detect uh, your microphone as the source. Uh, if it doesn't, just you know, unplug it and plug it back in, and a little window will pop up asking if you want to switch your audio input device. Anyway, once you get to this here, once you once it's been plugged in, you want to select mono. It doesn't matter which one actually. I just do one. Okay. This level control, you'll have to test this level control yourself. Right now, it's set at 56% which if you look up here as I'm speaking uh, you can see these little bars moving up what you want is uh, your normal voice okay depending on how close you are here I'm closer now to the microphone so the bar goes up higher but at a comfortable distance away those little bars should go up towards the middle um, as you're speaking so I'm just gonna adjust this to about 75 I just put it to 80 Okay, so now as I'm speaking, you see it goes up towards the middle, okay? That's kind of ideal, so that it doesn't go too far. If you put it all the way to the end here, at 100, you can see it hits the end. So at that point, you get some distortion and things like that. So uh, I would put it down to about, say, 80, okay? I'm about maybe 4 inches away from the microphone right now, okay? So at about 80 and speaking at a fairly normal um, voice, okay? A voice uh, whatever voice level anyway so that's done uh, these other ones here the jingles and the female voice you don't need them so you can delete them two ways you can just uh, go up here to track delete track okay or you can also use the shortcut that it showed you there which was uh, command and delete okay so I'll do that now so command and delete and it's gone it just makes it easier, I think, when it does the uh, the mixing. So now what you do is you just hit record down here. Okay, you hit the record button. It starts recording. It says here stop or stop recording. Uh, start or stop recording. Did I just say that? Anyway, um, if you uh, hit this one when you to stop it, this bar will just keep moving. So here's an example. So I'm going to talk, 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 yak, 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 hit the button, and uh, that thing keeps moving. So what I do actually is I hit the this button here to stop it, okay? Even when I'm done recording, I just push this button here. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you should save it every once in a while, so just regular save over here. Then what you do when you're finished is you want to click Export Podcast to Disk. It'll ask you what type of a podcast you want. I usually just set it as, as an MP3. Okay, there's other options there, MP3. Um, for putting it onto our website, I use the musical podcast uh, quality. For sending it to people, I'll choose the spoken podcast because the file size will be much smaller. So musical podcast. And then this part here will be blanked out. You can't choose anything because we don't have anything in the podcast track is why. Export that. Choose the location. Again, I'll put it onto my desktop. Save. It goes through the mixing process, whatever. 
and once you once that's done that's it it'll be on your desktop as an mp3 file and there it is okay that should be pretty easy um, pretty sure you'll be able to get that anyway thank you and uh, talk to you later